The really cool thing about the digital storytelling project is it's ideal for anyone and everyone. Um, any client seeking recovery at this point is a great person to show this project to. Um, this project's going to view a lot of different clients um, with many different backgrounds seeking recovery. Somebody that might not necessarily have the same story that you do. Um, what this will do is it'll really kind of open the door for those clients that have experienced very unique problems in the past um, entering into recovery and it's going to allow them to connect with somebody who's had similar experiences to their own. The biggest change that has happened to me since I've been in recovery is I have me. Uh, I am capable of doing anything that I put my mind to. Uh, I attend university. I'm 52 years old and I'm a college freshman carrying a 3.67 GPA. I made the president's list last quarter with a 4.0 average. Um, these things were impossible without recovery. Being in recovery for me means that for almost 20 years that I haven't used drugs and um, it's a blessing. It's a wonderful thing. It means that I have family and friends. I have a purpose. Um, my life is full. It has meaning and um, I'm just really grateful to be alive. Many of the clients I meet with early on at the treatment center are really looking at coming home alone. Connecting clients with recovery support services is such a vital piece of that transition into recovery. And the idea of entering into recovery with no support, nobody to talk to, no connection to the outside world is absolutely terrifying. I don't care whether you're a person in recovery or just an everyday Joe walking around. Um, what Recovery Support Services does is it really just gives that person a friendly face to link with on the outside world. Um, it also gives them somebody they can talk to. Um, not every problem that you can think of is going to be identified while that person is still in treatment. There's going to be many issues that pop up after the person is back out in the real world and living life. And that connection is made at the 28-day treatment program, but then it's, it is nurtured throughout the next six to nine months. And it really just allows that person to have a constant contact with somebody that they can go to and discuss what problems are going on and see really what support services are available to help fix those problems. I have my family back. I have my daughter back. I maintain full-time employment. When I get up in the morning and I look in the mirror, I'm grateful for what I see. Uh, uh, there is... Uh, a spiritual essence to my being now. Uh, I believe that, that that is probably also one of the biggest things that have, has happened to me that uh, I've come to understand that I am not the center of the universe. My purpose in life today is I have a purpose. If you're trying to stop using, I would just say to you that recovery is possible. Um, and even on the darkest day, if you can just muster up enough strength to ask for help, um, that the help is available. And we have so many resources here um, in our state, um, resources for treatment, resources for detox, recovery support services, um, whatever you need. Um, sometimes you hear that voice inside of you that tells you that you can't do it, but I just want to tell you that you can. You can make it, and uh, we are here. Um, all of us, those that are in recovery, those that are supporters and advocates of recovery, um, we're here to help you and you can make it.